Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Dish Kitty Studio. I am your uh, cruise director, Trish, and I am going to go through uh, the newest stuff in my daily journal Fobonichi style book here. Well, let me see if I can figure out where I left off. I think this was the last page I showed on camera. Okay. Acorn squash. Um, I did this in colored pencil. I made one for dinner, so I drew a little picture of it. Um, grocery shopping, and I bought some um, Polish sausage, kale pasta, whatever this stuff is called. I call it rainbow sausage because it's shaped like a rainbow, you know? Anyway, um, so I did a ton of shopping and got, um, got that. Um, let's see. Oh, my husband and I went to, uh, the Alamo in our town and we saw the original, well, original, I don't know, 1989 or whatever is Tim Burton Batman movie with Michael Keaton and, um, what's his name? Jack Nicholson. And they gave us these Batman masks, so I went ahead and tipped it in and then I did my writing underneath. I also stopped and got a pumpkin beer because one of the breweries in town had just released their pumpkin beer, so I stopped and got a beer before the movie because it happens to be right near the theater. So that's that. Um, I got my hair done. Wait, did I get it? I'm not sure if I got it done or I just redid it myself. So this is just like the tube of blue hair color and blue hair dye streaming out. I think that's watercolor. Yeah. Okay. Um, this day, my husband and I went to a party that a friend of ours um, threw. He, he's, I've known him for many, many years, but he's also a realtor and he uh, sold us our house years ago. And he just had a little party, um, just a client appreciation thing. So um, we went and hung out for a while. Um, some of our other friends were there too. So it was a really fun time. Had a couple beers and some snacks and just hung out with friends. Um, then we went to see Edward Scissorhands. Uh, another Tim, Bur Tim Burton movie because it's uh, they're doing they were doing uh, Septem Burton uh, at the Alamo, so we saw Batman and then uh, this night we saw um, Edward Scissorhands. So this is the girl with her crazy haircut because you know Edward was a great hairstylist. Uh, let's see what happened here. Um, my husband and I went to uh, the county fair, so this is me very happy because there were bunnies. There were real tigers. There was like a whole tiger show that we saw most of and there was white tigers and regular tigers like Bengals, um, corn dogs, donuts, all the great fair food and then we stopped at uh, this little brewery on the way home and got a little flight and um, tried some of their beers and stuff like that. I'd, I'd been to it before but it had been about a year so I was excited to kind of go back and check it out. Okay. Now, this day we had uh, a wedding. So we went to the wedding. These are just some of the little bits and pieces. Um, the wedding actually uh, had a claw machine and the favor for the guests was a little bag full of quarters for the claw machine. And I had this little note. And then also in here I stuck, um, I have a business card for this really nice girl that I met uh, who gave me her card. She actually is a fashion designer so she gave me the card for her clothing line which I stuck in here. Um, I've got the program, the invitation, and then these are uh, some little wristbands that we got um, for after the, after the wedding for the nightclub that the reception was at. Uh, here's a little drawing of the claw, and I actually won a kitty cat t-shirt, so I drew the little claw with the kitty cat t-shirt in it. It was really fun. It was a crazy night with all this tons of stuff going on, so I just sort of made like a big word cloud to describe all the things we did and all the people and all that stuff. Uh, we were actually out at that wedding until 6 in the morning. We got home at about 5.45, and we didn't get to bed until 6.00. So this was the following day, Sunday, and this is us in bed, sleeping late, and our two lazy cats here with us, because um, we really did not do much that day. <laughs> All right, uh, here's a little picture of me working at my computer. Um, I have a full-time job, and I am doing two consulting jobs right now, so I am busy in the evenings a lot doing 
um, some of this consulting stuff. So this particular night I had to do work for both of them, so I was a busy girl. Um, fall is here. This was September 20th, but um, it says black and I have my tongue hanging out because my sinuses and my allergies were just going crazy. And I was sneezing and I so much Kleenex and just miserable. So that's that. Um, here is me. You can't see my face because I'm holding a giant dry erase board. It's a magnetic dry erase board that I got uh, for here in my lair. It's hanging on the wall over here next to me and I really wanted it so I could do sort of like a mood board kind of thing and I was going to do cork but I thought uh, magnetic dry erase just seemed like the best of both worlds so that's what I went with. And so I did hang it up and I'm working on creating my mood board. Uh, my husband and I went to this event called Keizu Sings. We live in Kalamazoo, so Keizu Sings was the name of this event, and it was so much fun. It was basically a group, uh, you know, a group of people come. You don't have to be a singer, don't have to have any singing skills whatsoever, and you break up into three groups, uh, highs, mediums, and lows, high, middle, and low, and then uh, there's a an instructor that just sort of teaches you your parts. He teaches you as your groups individually what your part is and then you put them together with the other groups and you learn the entire song that way in three-part harmony. And we sang Sweet Caroline by uh, Neil Diamond and it was so much fun. It was a great time. It was about well, maybe an hour and a half it took us to learn the whole song and then sing it through a couple of times and um, and then they recorded it there's a there's a video on YouTube um, of all of us I think there were maybe probably 60 people or so uh, it was really fun they're gonna do this uh, this was the first one but they're gonna do it every month and I think that we'll probably continue to go because it was a really really fun time so there's that Uh, this was not much happening this day. Um, I had to go out, I went out and ran some errands. I got some new hairspray and some new mascara. Very exciting life I lead. Uh, and then I actually went to um, the vapor shop and I got some new uh, juice for um, my vapor device, which was called Circus Cookie. It's kind of like those little those little animal crackers you had as a kid, the ones with the pink frosting and the sprinkles. Um, it basically tastes like frosting, which is exactly what I like. I like frosting. So, I, it came with a sticker, so of course I had to stick the sticker in here. Um, this was another really busy day. It was a Saturday. Uh, I went up to Grand Rapids and spent the day with my really good friend, John, and his family. Um, we took his daughters to a birthday party at a bounce place. Um, it was called, oh gosh rebounders I think so uh, it was really fun while they were there doing that we hung out there for a while and then we went and grabbed some lunch and uh, then after the after the party we took the kids home and he and I went to a beer festival um, at this place Pike Pike 51 Brewing um, and had a couple beers played some cornhole and just had a fun time and then later in the evening um, I had another birthday party, so this is why I'm wearing the party hat, because I was like, I went to two birthday parties that day. Uh, we went to a surprise birthday party for a friend of ours, um, and it was a really, it was a really nice time with a lot of people that we don't get to see very much, and I think it was a really fun birthday for him, so that was nice. Uh, let's see. My, uh, in-laws came into town. This was, uh, last Sunday. My in-laws came into town and my father-in-law and my husband went to see a movie. It was, uh, The Magnificent Seven. Not my bag. I'm not a big Western fan. So, and my mother-in-law is not either. So my mother, my mother-in-law and I went out for lunch. We, uh, went to this Italian place and had spaghetti. We went to a farmer's market, which is why I drew this beautiful, um, honey crisp apple. Um, my mother-in-law and I went out shopping and I got a new pair of jeans for my husband because he really needed some. And then my husband and I went, later in the evening, my husband and I went out for dinner and then we grabbed some donuts on the way home. So pretty good day all in all. Donuts and spaghetti. Come on. 
Um, this is a little drawing I did of me watching the debates. This was the night of the, um, the first presidential debate with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. So this is me. I'm eating animal crackers and I have my mouth hanging open because I could not believe the drama. So um, there's that. And then up here I have a QR code that links to, this was the day that the video from Keizu Sings, the, the Sweet Caroline video, uh, was released um, onto YouTube because it took some, you know, it took several days for them to edit it and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I put a little QR code here so I could um, go back and watch that video whenever I want to. Uh, this day I had a hair appointment and my hair is back to boring old brown so I just drew a little little picture of myself with regular plain old boring brown hair so no more blue pink purple whatever I'm back to brown it was super fun but a lot of maintenance a lot of maintenance so I'm excited to be back to normal for a while I may do the crazy colors again though because I did enjoy it but I was ready to be back to back to regular uh, another day where my sinuses were just I don't know if it's allergies or sinuses or what but it was like feels like my face my entire face ached and I was sneezing like crazy and all the Kleenex snot running out of my face and my eyes dripping and everything else so okay uh this is a picture of my cat Nemo throwing up everywhere he was very sick I was so worried about him um he ate breakfast in the morning and then he threw up and then he had some kibble later on in the afternoon and he threw up again and then he wouldn't even eat any we couldn't get him to eat anything even like his favorite foods that he usually he doesn't miss many meals to begin with but even stuff that we know he really really likes he just would sniff and wanted nothing to do with it so I was really really worried but finally finally at like midnight he finally decided to get up he was very lethargic too which you know he's a cat so I don't even know if you can say a cat's lethargic it's kind of in their natural state but he finally got up and and ate a little bit of food and drank some water and he went potty so I thought okay maybe he's on the mend but I was very worried he ended up being fine like I think it was just I don't know if something didn't agree with him or he just had an upset tummy or whatever it was uh, this was last Friday, and this right here is a picture of something called a papadam. Uh, my husband and I went out for Indian food for lunch, and uh, I tried papadams for the first time. It's kind of like a tortilla chip, but it's made with lentils. Um, it's really, really flavorful and so, so good. That's why I drew all these little hearts around it, because I loved it. It was so good. Uh, so this is a papadam. And in the evening, um, one of my good friends came into town uh, to pick something up, and so he stopped by, and he and I and my husband went to uh, this new, a new little bar that's in town that has a lot of different craft beers and stuff on tap, so we went over there to check it out, tried a few beers, and uh, had a good time, and then we also went, you know, uh, I love donuts, so after uh, we had a couple beers, we went and got a donut, and then we went home. Okay, oops, let me get rid of that. Uh, this is this past Saturday, and it was it was a it was kind of a busy day. Um, I slept in, but then once we got up, my husband and I decided to just kind of go out and wander around. Um, we went to one of our favorite places for lunch. It's a place called Nonla. It's um, Vietnamese food. And uh, so I just kind of cut a little piece of the takeout menu out here with the logo on it. It was so good. Um, then we just kind of wandered around. We hit a couple of Goodwills, a couple thrift stores, um, just did a little bit of shopping. Um, you know, nothing major. Uh, we stopped at a really cool uh, brewery that I had not been to before. Um, I've had their beers, but I haven't been to the actual brewery, so we stopped in there. Um, I had a flight, so here's my little flight list, and here's a sticker from the brewery. And then um, came home and just kind of chilled out in the evening. Um, I watched Goblet of Fire. Um, I've been rereading the Harry Potter books, and I finished this book a couple of weeks ago, so I wanted to watch the movie. So I did that, so I drew my little Goblet of Fire here with the blue flames that come out of it. And I think that's all I've got for now. Um, that was Saturday, and today's Monday. Thank <laughs> you.
I have my little sticky notes, but that's all of the um, that's all the drawings I have in here. So that's what I've got there. Now the other thing that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, hold on a second here while I. Oh, I guess I'm not going to show it to you because I don't. I don't. I thought I had it in my bag here, but I don't. I must have left it upstairs. Uh, I am participating in Inktober. Um, which if you're not familiar with it, I'll put the link below. Um, it's basically just an art challenge um, to do an ink drawing every day uh, in the month of October. So I am doing that. I am posting that on um, my Instagram and my Twitter. Both of those links are below if you'd like to see my artwork for that. I was going to show it to you here, what I've got so far, but no dice. So if you're interested, take a look at the links below and, and you can see it there. That's all I got for now. I hope you are having a stellar week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.